Uh, we're going to do a little video today on uh, Novart communication issues. So this unit here is a district manager's office at this store. And I'm trying to stay close to the camera, guys, so you can hear me. This unit is in communication loss, and the contractor before us uh, took it upon themselves to remove this unit from EMS and install a, temp a thermostat in the store. Not temporary, they just put a programmable thermostat in the store to run this unit. Home Depot wants all these units back on EMS. So what we found is the daisy chain for the store, the cable came from that unit to this unit, tied into the Novar board, and then from this unit, the daisy chain continued to the next unit. And then I'm gonna show you how we tested it and what we found, but basically what happened is someone took this unit out of the daisy chain, and they ran a cable from that unit directly to that unit. So those are all in communication. This one is just, like, it doesn't even know it's here. But the, the sad part is, what they did is, if you come to the unit, the two communication wires are still connected into this Novar board, and they go down in the store. But down in the store, below the roof, what they did is on that unit, they cut the wire over there and just ran and just... So the wires are down in the store above the ceiling, but they're not hooked to anything, is what we ultimately found. But I'll sh I'm gonna show you how we kind of came to that conclusion and how we troubleshot this. So power is on to this unit. Here's our two communication cables. Here's our terminals, plus uh, shield and negative. The only way to test these guys is to remove the wires. And if you have two cables, because it's in the middle of the daisy chain, you have to remove both wires and separate them. So you can check each point one at a time. I'll we'll show you how we do that. Novar is so much easier because of how it's set up with the voltages on it. So I'm gonna separate these cables and set them aside. I'm gonna take my meter. I'm gonna take Dustin's meter. <laughs> I've got it set to DC volts. And I'm gonna take my leads. And I'm gonna put my black lead on shield. And then I'm gonna check from shield to positive. Actually, I'm on the wrong terminals, aren't I? 15, 16, and 17. So 15 is here. 16 is here. To 17. And you can see we got four volts. It's supposed to be at least two and a half volts DC. Now I'm gonna leave my negative on the shield and I'm gonna put my positive on the plug or on the negative and we've got four volts. You wanna have two and a half volts or better, DC guys. So that tells me this board is a good board on the communication side of it. Now, you do the same thing with, with the cables, one at a time. So you, you don't wanna do the cables when the wires are hooked together. So this cable, I don't know which one it came from, but it probably came from that unit. So I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna go onto the shield wire with my, my black, and then I'm gonna to check to the white, which was positive. And as you can see, we've got zero volts, which is no good. And then I'm gonna leave my black probe on the shield and I'm gonna to check to the, to the negative. And you can see I've got no power. So what that tells me is wherever this wire is coming from, it's either not connected or there's something wrong with the controller in that unit. And then we do the same thing on the other cable. We're just in the middle of the daisy chain here. And this is what Dustin and I did this morning when we first troubleshot this unit. I'm on the shield, and I'm gonna to check to the positive. And as you can see on the meter, I've got zero. And then I'm gonna to check to the negative, and I got zero. So at that point this morning, what Dustin and I concluded was the board is good, but neither of these cables are connected or something was going wrong. We went down in the store, looked up in the ceiling, and we could see where someone had cut the cables. At the, right next to that unit, the cable is cut, and it's got wire nuts on it. And then right next to the, the unit Dustin's showing you now, this unit, the wire is cut up in the ceiling. And in, 
which in that unit, Dustin, we found a brand new cable. There's a brand new comp cable connected different color wires. So it's obvious they ran a cable from that unit to this unit and just took this one out of the network. So that's just real basic, guys. It's just that easy to diagnose communication. You do have to get up in the ceiling, and we can't do that today on a Saturday to rerun these cables because it's uh, this unit here. Actually, that unit there is right above the paint counter, which is very busy today, and that unit over there is right above customer service. Like next week on Monday or Tuesday with a lift overnight and run some new cables and run a new zone sensor cable into the office because they cut that also for some reason and they took the zone sensor so we're gonna have to order a new zone sensor but just wanted to do a quick video guys happy saturday hope everyone's home enjoying some time with the family and kids you guys all be safe out there have a good weekend